Welcome back, Mahula fans and Mahula friends, to You Know Who and You Know Where, as you can see. And from the title, you're probably here for this beauty over here. This is the chess set book, uh, put together, built together by um, our Polish friends, uh, Dexu and Mimiz? Mimiz? Mimize? Mimizy? Um, I'm sorry, I'm killing your names, but... Uh, We'll have a download link in the description and the actual spelling of the names for this collab for two Scrap Mechanic users brought to us by um, our brothers from another mother out there in Poland where that uh, um, we have a nice giant life-size or let's see this midget-sized <laughs> midget-sized uh, chess set. Look at that. Alright, so, the one thing about this is it's nice because it's built around the dimension of the jack, so it's easy to go ahead and pick up and put down like that. Where that I was playing around with it myself and... Oops. Gotta pick you up. And, uh... I was thinking to myself, why a 4x4 four four square? Wouldn't we want, you know, like a 5x5 five five square? But... I th I've been playing around with it. I played around with it, and I think the five, the four by four is a nice. It's a nice um, dimension for this life size uh, chess set. Only because I tried playing around with it over here. I played around with it with that. I didn't know. I was trying to make it a little bit of a king over here. But then when I went 3x3, three three, he was like so fat. And being a 3x3, three three, he was just as thick as the um, as the rooks that I made here. So the first thing I was doing was I was trying to play around with the different materials. I was like, what do we do steel? I like steel instead of, or the metal instead of the painted wood. You know, and then the tile for the white. I like the tile for the white there. Tile for the white here for the pawn. These are the 5x5s five or 3x3s, three uh, where the, these are the pawns or 3x3s three on a 5x5 five five square. Eh. Now the problem with this, especially with the pawns if they're smaller, is see this? Is where to put the jack to make sure that they drop center into the square. I've been playing around with these guys for the last 20 minutes, half an hour, and I was always having a problem trying to drop the, uh, oops, trying to drop uh, the pawns in the middle of the squares uh, but then with these guys the uh, the rooks they're nice and big I like the rooks but I thought to myself it's gonna be a pain in the butt for me to try to pixelize see that <sighs> pixelize or develop like the bishops or the um, uh, the knights in a 5x5 five five square where that the way these guys I think it's there there we go uh, where that these guys did it nicely with the knight it's it's not detailed but it's simple and it's it was easy where that you would want to try to do more detail in a 5x5 five five square but then you don't have enough to do anything the rooks are nice the pawns are fat then you have the king, which is short and fat, and then the queen, which is weird. Where that I would have made the crowns out of the uh, the um, what is this? The hazard, the barrier blocks. And then I thought to myself, let's play around with something here that I want to do that uh, you guys might be interested in. So I was thinking, what if we do this? that or do we want to do it in the middle I don't know we'll check that out hold on you'll see what I'm gonna do in a second uh, was it this one base yeah the base tone base tone come on give me the face Where's the face is that the face that's the face there we go cool I'm gonna need the bottom. 
no. Haha. Ha. I mean, need the bottom. Come on, flip. I need the bottom. Perfect music, because I want to what do you need to do with this? Stay on the side, stay on the side. No! Ah, dang it. I want to weld you on the side. Looks like I won't be able to do it. Oh, whatever. Let's build it then. Um... You know what, maybe I should just, let's just check a look at what the top looks like in, in metal. Uh, white metal? Yeah, white metal. Let's just do this. Eh! Alright. Yeah. That's it. Oops. Ah! Oh. Ooh. Spray paint. White. Perfect. Now I gotta choose. I just wanted to play around with it a little bit. I'm not trying to make my own. Just, uh, you know, playing with it a little bit. And you. And there. How does it look? Oh yeah, I forgot. If you do that with the right click, it guards now. For the survival mode, I think. Looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? If you give uh, the faces to uh, some of these guys. Eh, not really, right? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, that's just me trying to, you know, experiment. So, yeah. Thanks a lot to Dexu f and, uh... <laughs> Mimize, Mimiz, Mimize, Mimize for, uh... For the chess set. It's awesome, it's nice. It's for us, uh, chess geeks. Sorry, I am not a chess geek. I know how to play chess. But I am not a... Oh, I didn't do it. I am not a strategist. I barely know any kind of basic, and I mean basic, I barely know basic chess strategy. I know how everything moves, but yeah, I barely know any kind of basic chess strategy outside of, you know, castling at the, at the last second to save my butt. That's it. That's all I know. Yeah, I think this would have been better. I, I may... Okay, what I'll do for myself is I'll rebuild all these in the different materials. I'll probably do the black guys in in metal and the white guys in tile, just because I think it looks better as a contrast. Uh, will I showcase it on the channel? No, I won't, because you guys can do it yourself. It's very easy, very nice and simple. Like I said, I do like the look of the metal. And the tile. And the brick. The brick looks kind of nice too, so I don't know if I'm going to go with brick. But see, brick versus metal, they're like almost the same color as you can see there. They're almost the same color. But that's it. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Thank you for uh, spending time with me. Uh, thank you for your love and support. Thank you to returning subscribers. Thank you for uh, visiting. I was going to say visiting brethren. For those of you who know what I mean when I say thank you for visiting brethren, that you know who and what I am. Uh, thank you for uh, visitors to the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscri subscribe button so that you can receive, continue to receive, Mahula Madness in your inbox. Uh, stay thirsty, keep frosty, be safe. We take risks for you in these virtual worlds so that you and your wallets don't have to. I think that would look better in the, ha the hazard barrier material. material. Alright guys, thanks a lot.